Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Smith from Backbench Coder. So in the last section, we have designed the watch screen using Bootstrap and SAS. So if you have not watched the last video, you will get the source code in the description box. So just scroll on the repository and then follow along. Okay, so in this video, we are going to add the functionalities. So if I click on this video component, it should be redirected to the watch screen. Let me show you the watch screen. So here is the watch screen. I should be redirected to this screen. So let's add the functionalities. Go back to the code editor. First of all, let's add the on-click event listener on this video component. So on this video click so on click let's name this handle video click let's define the function const handle video click that's it it should redirect to the watch screen so first of all i need the history object so let's get the history object using the use history hook const history use history offered by react router dom should be auto imported from react router dom control space here it is okay so history dot method name is push and then inside the string literal the url is the watch slash the video id so inside this money sign the curly brace what's the video id this is underscore video id right so underscore video id that's it now let's catch this url in our app so just go to the app.js inside this watch screen i'm already catching this so it is getting as the id parameter inside our url so let's grab this id so just go to watch screen and at the top just use use params hook it's again offered by react router dom so const const destructure the id and it is coming from use params should be auto imported from react router dom cool now cool <laughs> okay so i have the id and now just pass this video id in our iframe source just remove this hard coded id and then dollar curly brace id convert this to a string literal wrap this with the curly brace mm -hmm. cool save this let's go to the app so just go back to the home screen refresh this now if i click on a video it should redirect me to the watch screen let's click on a video here it is i have the video id and my iframe it should load the video and here it is nice it's working fine okay so now we need to get the video details and render this video details inside this video metadata and render the video title and this video statistics so let's create the accent creator so just go to the redux folder inside this redux folder hmm. inside this redux folder i have the accent inside this accent i have the video accent so it's a video accent so i'll put this accent inside this file just close this get popular videos close this get videos by category okay close the sidebar <laughs> so export const just name this get video by id so it needs the video id and then async dispatch cool just put a try catch block here it is so first of all we need to create the accent type so just go to the accent types file accent types okay so what should be the name of the types let's name this selected video selected video request selected video success selected video fail so export const selected video request and just put this here as the string just copy this copy this and it is selected video success success and the second one is selected video fail okay okay so at first i'll just dispatch my selected video request dispatch the type is selected video request should be auto imported i don't have any payload so here i need to fire the access request so let's grab the endpoint so just go to a documentation inside this documentation i have this list and inside this video list you can see this the list by video id so this example it types information about a specific video and that's what i need so basically the endpoint is just click on this code i mean the code icon let's go to this http the endpoint is slash videos and i can pass the parameter like part snippet content details statistics and the api key of course okay so let's do that so first of all just grab the request instance so request the axios instance and the url is slash videos and then the config inside this i need to pass the params so params first of all the part what i need i need the snippet and i need the statistics I don't need the content details and I also need to pass the ID. So ID is ID. Cool. 
so technically i can remove the second value but that's fine so it will return me a promise so handle this using await and just grab the data so const just destructure this destructure not destructure data cool and then after successful request just dispatch selected video success type the action type selected video success should be auto imported success so the payload i can get the payload using data dot items and this items will return me the array and the first value is my video details so item zero so this is my dispatch and for the error just copy this no not no need to copy so just log this out error dot message and then dispatch what of course the type is selected video fill selected video fill come on it's not auto imported man selected video fill and the payload is what error dot message what else that's pretty much it i have my accent creator ready i've also exported this and let's create the reducer so just go to redux folder again inside this reducers inside this videos reducer let's create the reducer so just close this one home videos reducer so export const what selected video reducer okay so it will get the previous state and the accent so state the values are like loading that initial state this is true and the video at initial state this is null okay and the second value is accent so comma accent okay so inside this function first of all i will restructure my payload and the type so const payload comma type from accent that's it and then and the switch case redux is very simple i told you a type based on the type i need to match some cases so case first one is let's increase the font size okay cool so first of all the first case is what selected video request wow <laughs> selected video request and return what just copy the previous state oh, hold on copy the previous state then just override the loading true it is giving me an warning because i don't have the default case so let's define the default default return the same state cool let's import the selected video request should be auto imported nice and let's define the other cases so for the second one this is case selected video success which we really need so return first of all copy the previous state then override the video with the payload and then of course the loading is false cool just copy the selected video success and this is for selected video fail auto imported okay so the video is null again the loading is false but the error value is payload mm, that's pretty much it save this cool i've exported this right okay so let's import this in our store so store okay so i have this auth reducer i have this home videos reducer so just import our selected video reducer from the videos reducer this is selected video reducer pass this inside this combined reducer as the selected video selected video that's pretty much it i can access this now so just go to the watch screen okay so inside this watch screen i need to dispatch the accent creator when the component did mount so just get the dispatch function so const dispatch it's coming from use dispatch hook should be auto imported from react redux and then using use effect just fire this when the component did mount okay inside this dependency array just pass the dispatch and of course the video id then just fire the accent creator dispatch the name of the accent creator was get video by id get video by id should be auto imported did not nice auto import now auto imported and just pass the id as the argument cool so at this point i should get the data let's see refresh this go to redux extension go to redux 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 yes selected video request selected video success 
go to the state I have my data. So inside the selected video, I have this video object, I have the ID, I have the snippet. Inside the snippet, I have the publish ad, channel ID, title, description, all I need. Then the thumbnails, I don't need the thumbnails, I need the channel title and the statistics. Inside the statistics, I have the view count, like count, I need, dislike count, I need, comment count, I don't really need inside this component. Okay. I can now read the data using the selector function. So just go to the watch screen. Okay. So const use selector hook should be auto imported from React Redux. Pass the selector function and just grab the data. So state dot what selected video the name of the reducer selected video cool. I need the video and the loading state. Okay. So first of all just pass this video title inside this iframe. So just remove this title, put a curly brace, just check if I have the video with an optional chaining, then check if I have the snippet and then just pass the title. Cool. Inside this video metadata, I need to pass the snippet and the statistics. So before that I need to check if my video is loaded successfully or not. So just put a curly brace, see if the loading is false. With the ternary operator, if the loading is false, then render the video metadata. Else, I need to render a loading skeleton. But for now, just render a text inside this H6 like loading. We need to handle the loading skeleton later. Loading. Okay, cool. So, inside this video metadata, I will pass the video object, the whole video object, and also the video ID. Because inside this video metadata component, I need to make another request to get the channel details and some other some other data. Because I told you the data are very inconsistent inside this YouTube API, like according to me, who the fuck am I? Okay, so inside this video ID property, just pass the ID. That's it. Save this. Just go to the video metadata component. Okay, so first of all, just destructure the property. So from the video, I need the snippet and also the statistics and then the video id uh, actually i need to put the curly brace here and this curly brace after this video that's cool save this okay so first of all i need to get some data from the snippet let's see what i need so from the snippet const object structure from snippet okay so what i need first of all i need the video title Mm -mm. I need the public set, I need the channel ID, video title, description and from the statistics I need the view count, like count and dislike count. Okay. So just grab the channel ID, channel title, description, video title and public set. Cool. And from the statistics, const this structure from statistics, I need the view count, I need the like count and also a dislike count. Now based on this context, if you are enjoying this project, please hit the like button, like please. I know you will not give it a like, but please whatever. Okay, so let's render the data. So just replace this video title with the title inside a curly brace okay number of views with view count view count the date when the video was released with publish set okay empty thumbs up so number of likes this is with like count empty thumbs down so number of dislikes this is with dislike count inside this video metadata channel the channel title this is with channel title cool the number of subscribers I don't have the number of subscribers so I need to make another request to get the number of subscribers and we will do that in the next section so that I can focus on only one particular section so we'll do that later and I need the subscription status and we'll do that in the next section just remove the description replace this with the description that's it anything else 
I guess that's pretty much it. I need the channel ID to make the request. Let's save this and let's see the app. Refresh this and here it is. I have the video, I have the video title. If, if 2020 was a person, whatever. 8 million views when the video was released one day ago. Like one day ago, it is 8 million views. And then the number of likes and the number of dislikes. I need to put a little bit space in between this like icon and the like number. Anyway, I'll put that later. Then I have the channel title, the number of subscribers is dummy and then a subscription status. Okay, so I need to show the channel icon, I'll do that later and then I have this description tag. Cool, so much so less. That's it, that's all for this video. So in the next section, we'll get the channel details and render the rest of the data. So for now, see you in the next video. Bye.